Hey everyone. So today it's time to dive in another of the colors of sunglass lenses. This time we're going to dive into one that's pretty controversial, or at least in my opinion it is, because there's so many freaking different versions of it. Much like gray, which sort of divides into the blues and greens as well, but it's going to be the green lenses. So let's have some fun with some of the different greens out there. We'll take a look at them. We'll do one and get it out in the wild so you can kind of see what it does to colors. Maybe we'll do a few of these this time, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get into it, shall we? So for green lenses, these are probably my second favorite just because I like the higher contrast of the browns. But with greens, you get some nice little enhancements and you still get a lot of darkness. So they're kind of a really good option for if you don't have a ton of different pairs, which as you know, I always recommend a few different pairs for different situations, whether it's just prescription or not, or whatever it is, it's hard to do everything with one lens or at least to do it well with one lens. So when I think of greens, I think more like this, obviously, green green, right? These, you get a little bit more color distortion with this. Things are definitely gonna be rendered a lot differently than you would get in other greens. So, you know, there is something to keep in mind there. The good thing is it's really comfortable to the eyes. Greens in general, our eyes just like them. It really makes colors pop. So even when it's vivid as this, even though it shifts a lot of colors, everything white is suddenly green. This is green, this is green. This is slightly paler green, but you know, they're both green. And it does a really good job at that. So it's comfortable to wear, but where you get in general, a little bit more fun is across the board. And let me tell you, this is how close a lot of the greens are out there to gray on camera. You can't tell the difference between this and a gray lens. Even though this is green, I'm gonna say probably a category two to one gradient. So not the darkest out there, but definitely has more darkness to it than average. This is your really good for kind of a cloudy day use. I'm still gonna lean towards ambers, vermilions, coppers, things like that for cloudy use, but you can do okay with the greens. Now, that is, uh, you still get good color rendering. It's just not, it doesn't have that pop of contrast to it. This is more of your traditional green, and this one does show up a little bit on camera that it's green, a little bit. This is more how it looks in the real world, and this is, I don't understand, but, the difference is really funny when you get the polarized one right next to it. And by the way, yes, these are now available and polarized. You can see it is significantly more gray in the polarized, but I assure you both of these are green lenses. Put them in front of green, you can kind of tell it a little bit more. That's why we're playing around with all of this. But these are where you get your more traditional greens, right? This is kind of what you see out in the wild, which is gonna be more like a G15 more of a gray with just a little bit of a splash of green. That's how you can get that full category three darkness. Now we have done this custom. Unfortunately, I don't have any here because it's usually a prescription lens we make and it's just not something I have ready made up on hand, but we do a green that's really nice and dark, but it still has a lot more green into it. Kind of like that first frame I showed you where you've got just a lot more vivid green to begin with, but it's still pretty good and dark. Now this one they do it and you can't see it on the camera, but there's a red mirror on this one, which does have a really nice effect to help get that extra darkness. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. And that makes it a little bit more fun because then you can tweak the color a little bit, which is how this one gets that nice vibrant coloration to it. It's by blocking some of the reds out of it on the tail end after it's tinted, and it still keeps it really nice and dark. The reason I say this one's really good as general use is because of its ability to heighten colors without causing a lot of color shift. So that's really easy to wear through a lot of different situations. You can get the greens really, really nice and dark, but then you've got the ones like this guy where it's just that in-betweens, more of a fashion gradient. This is more like the one I showed up a second ago, 
where you've got, you can still see the eyes through it. There's a little bit of a nice coloration to it, but it's nothing too, too crazy. Really wearable indoors or out. Still gives you nice coloration, nice pop to it. Now, I will say a lens like this is pretty hard to come by. I haven't seen too many out there in just a ready-made up pair aside from in the T. Henry collection. He uses this in a lot of his ivory pieces, actually. So he has some of the better greens out there, actually. So you've got that going for you. Now, as far as a specific use for greens, I'm really not gonna say this is one I recommend for a specific use. This is more kind of like the grays. It's a really, really good general use pair that does a lot of things really well, but it doesn't particularly excel at one thing. Unless, you know, hiking, maybe. I could see it because you get a lot of good coloring rendering. You know, it still isn't too dark in shaded areas. When you get out in the bright sun, it still provides plenty of darkness, but it's not really just perfect at anything. Yeah. And you thought I hated blues the most. <laughs> uh, no, I still do. This is still a second favorite. I'm generally going to pick the browns. Now, we'll take this out in the wild, see how it looks in a few different scenarios. I'll let you judge and see for yourself. We're going to do the AO, the Oxford's green polarized for the vast majority of it. Unless you see me mark it specifically, this is what all of the videos are. So if you see a little note pop up on there, then yes, I used something else. I will try to find one of the more greeny greens to give you a little bit of an idea how that works. Maybe I have another set of these laying around, but the problem with one like this is you're only gonna get it in this pair of glasses or custom. So while it's cool to see, there's not much to it. Now, that's all I've got for the greens. That's your nice little color pop pair of glasses. See what you think of them. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you like this format, definitely let me know because we can keep going through. Here is probably where I will stop for now, at least, so we can get back to some of the more techie stuff. But the coppers, vermilions, other shades of browns, other shades of blues, we still have plenty of fun left to go if you wanna see more of it. Anyways, continue on to the glasses out in the wild and let me know your thoughts. Is this all that you dreamed it? up here and in up with me you could have gone anywhere been anyone you stole my heart like a thief on the run you're not much for taking chances but you're taking a chance on me
but you've taken a chance on me. Sunrise behind me 